Okay, so we're gonna use the washer on each side. This is gonna be our nut. And now this is pretty cool. This is wrench for the nut. As you can see, it goes right in there. And it's very easy to torque it down, tighten down. I mean, this is a pretty cool thing they came up with. So all that goes on here after we put the wheels on. So the wheels are all same. We'll put the wheels on. We put washer on. Bit. And and that. some more at the end. Now this side like this washer. So, I guess the best way is to do both at the same time. That way, the other side doesn't spin. So, you can do hold one side. Okay, I'm hold one side and tighten the other one. Which kind of at the same time tightens both of them. But I will still going to double check the other side as well. This one here, same thing. So, wait. Goes right through. The one wheel. Very simple, very easy. Okay, now it should look just like this. Washer, nut, same thing on the other side. If you take two at the same time, both of them on at the same time. And you start tightening one side, you tighten the screen both of them at the same time. Since the whole thing is spinning, and you just want to go right there when it's just tight. Right there when it's tight, you want to stop, you don't want to force it in. These are the nice cap. 
they came up with cover the bolts pretty nice just like on the car so these there are three holes and this one has like a three uh, clips that are just gonna clip right on and the same thing on the other one right here so the wheel covers just snap right on just match the holes usually start with one a hole if you match match one of them exactly right there all of them line up and just snap in place this but first we need to put the cover so once again it's gonna be the fork first the cover front cover second and then the steering wheel the third all right like this and then it's gonna take bolt in there. We got the bolt and the nut. show you where it goes so if you look at the steering wheel it's a special hole here where it is perfect for the nut to go right in there and to kind of be hidden because it goes right inside so this means the other side is just flat round which meant to be for this side Okay, so just like that. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. So put the screw goes on this side, just like that. So to wait, wait. should come right out on this side just like this and then that's where your nut goes in there like that right into the hole so now wants to pull that in there and then tighten this side with the screwdriver which is not provided so I'm sure most of the people have that at home screwdriver and I'm just holding your finger on, on the nut so you won't fall down and you just screw it on there Duck. so nice and tight but don't over tighten So I went a little too much I guess because the cover, well this is the little cover on the nut fell off. 
this one here. So if you get too much in there, pushes this cover off. Well, I like it to be nice and tight. I went a little further down and got the cover out. So they want it even less. It's literally, there's not much in there at all. So you just have to, like a few treads, and you know, I'll just go a few more treads and it's all the way. So that's what they're asking you to do. And this is nice to have on there just so that you know kids won't scratch their uh, hands or won't get hurt with this uh, bolt sticking out the way it is now here so good thing is they uh, they have an extra one that's probably the reason why so I can replace it with this one or I can just leave it I just like this way just because it's nice and tight and the bolt is kind of hidden on there, but if she would ever get hurt from it, then I'll just replace it with this one. Okay, that's pretty much it. So the next step so now we're just going to take the seat off. Right here, the bolt. There's a screw here to get to the battery. opens up here we got the battery everything is plugged in this is the instructions Plug the white plug, undo the screws, replace the new battery, and then screws connect the white plug. This is battery replacement instructions if you need to. It's just, it's super, everything is super simple. You just take this connector off, which is just pushing this knob right here, and it pulls right out. And there's just a couple screws inside in there. You're done. Just a couple of screws on each side. We don't need that. So for us, the next step is pretty much charge it up, which is the hardest for the kid. Now that she sees it, now that she is actually looking at it being assembled, she can't wait to actually start writing it. But but what this says is. Uh, charge eight hours minimum before first use well when it says anything I buy that says to charge it so long for the first time what I usually do is just kind of leave it overnight which turns out to be a little maybe a little over eight depending on you know when you wake up or your kids but in this case it's it's a daytime because we wanted to make this video when it's nice and bright so now it's the toughest part to make this kid wait eight hours okay yeah good luck with that all right well as you can see there's still a bunch of extra parts low there's a couple screws left there's washers left which is nice i like when they're uh, you know people leave uh, the companies leave and provide a bunch of screw extra parts because you know first time assembling things can go wrong so that's always nice as far as the bike goes this, this is pretty much it wow that's interesting it's actually got a little juice left in it well I can't let that 
<laughs> I can't let it just go by, of course. This kid can't wait for it, so let's give it a just try. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Guess what? She's all over it. I guess it's time to go outside because this kid just can't wait to ride it. Okay, very first test drive. Not sure how much battery power there is, but we just unboxed it, so whatever it's got, she's gonna use it up until it dies. As you can see, it's pretty slow. Probably not much battery life. I mean, it's slow anyway, but. All right, this is the very first test drive. Wow. As you can see, any kid can do well on this because it's super easy. She's two and a half. She's pretty tall, but I think it still works for her. That's it. That's all it takes. I'm sure that would make any kid happy, so. You like that? We'll charge the battery up and hopefully it'll go much faster. Or at least it will last longer. Let's see if she can do the reverse. Hey, stop. 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 Yeah, she's pretty tall. And she's got pretty good size foot. Probably gonna get her even different shoes or something because if she's turning all the way right, she can actually hit the front wheel and kind of stops it. Wow, I can't believe she's so big now. Anyway, that's it for the video. That's all it takes to assemble and uh, make your kid happy. Yeah, it's a little hard to make that right turn. Alright, well, she'll have to get used to it for now. I guess for my kid, I'll have to get a bigger size. But, uh, for yours, depending on the age, might work. And it was a gift, so. It's nice. Pretty cool gift as well.